Get your motor running. More RVs are heading out on the highway these days, but it's not retirees who are looking for adventure. Landon Dowdy tells us about the new crop of drivers hitting the road from Petaluma, California. Kyle Millard is 32 years old and is on his second RV. He grew up camping and takes his young family on the road every month in the summertime. We picked this one because it has a bunkhouse system in the back as well as the outside kitchen. So it's something we can grow family wise. A record 9 million U.S. households now own an RV, according to the Recreation Vehicle Industry Association. The industry has traditionally relied on retirees to drive growth, but now younger buyers are getting behind the wheel. It just allows us to come together in a different way and sort of, just, as you can see, just be how we are in a, in a fun way. But we also save money so we can go do some things um, that we might not otherwise get to do if we stayed in a hotel. When we come for Thanksgiving specifically, we have probably four to five trailers that come and we all book spots right by each other. And then we have a couple family members who like to come but don't have trailers, so they get cabins so that they can still be with us and enjoy the trip too. Younger buyers are opting more for towable trailers than the more expensive motor homes, and they're coming to campgrounds like this one here in California wine country to really experience the outdoor lifestyle trend. And that has campground owners like Chris Wood investing in things like Wi-Fi and communal areas for millennials to mingle. For the millennial generation, you know, we're looking at space here on the campground, which was set up for potlucks and bingo halls 30 years ago. And we're setting it up for what we call third spaces, similar to kind of like your Starbucks and stuff. New data shows June towable shipments popped 20 percent year over year, while motorhomes were up a more modest 6 percent. RV makers like Thor Industries are taking note of the towable takeover, offering new models tailored to entry-level buyers and updated with new technology. It's upgrading the electronics. It's uh, just adding the features that they're, they're used to. So a, a lot of the RVs are uh, compatible to, you know, a, a, uh, an iPhone. Uh, you know, a lot of the app-based things that, you know, run your AC, your awning. Uh, your, your jacks when you get there it just makes it easier to camp. Martin telling me that once buyers get RVing in their blood, they get hooked. Still, analysts warn that while millennials are showing interest in RVing, it's too early to know if those young buyers will drive the industry like the boomers did. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Landon Dowdy, Petaluma, California.